Hey guys, Jake here from MacKite. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you guys about packages. All right guys, we're to the third part of our video, which is accessories that are nice to have, totally not necessary uh, most of the time. So let's get into it. Uh, first, the travel bag. One of the best parts about kiteboarding is traveling to exotic locations, having your own gear that you're comfortable on, and the travel bag makes this possible. So the bag, you're gonna wanna buy one that fits your board. Um, if you're taking this for airline travel, the obvious uh, tips are take off your fins. I tend to like to wrap some clothes around the edge that I'm taking on vacation, just to help buffer. You know, airlines are notoriously bad for just tossing gear. Um, make sure you get it sized properly. On our website, we have the length, the width. That's really the big equation. Um, make sure your board fits, everything else you can stuff in there. Try to keep it under 50 pounds for most airlines. Um, but if you're going on a once in a lifetime vacation, who cares about the size? Bring your gear, enjoy it, live your life. The only other thing to note about travel bags, um, we really like the ones with wheels. You can get them without the wheels and it's gonna make it a little bit lighter. Um, but when you're dragging your gear to the airport, you tend to be excited, it's not a big deal. You can handle the weight. When you get back from the vacation, you're coming back to the crushing reality of everyday life. You want the wheels. You're sad dragging your bag through the airport. Uh, this does help quite a bit. Next, you've got the changing poncho. We love the changing ponchos here. Um, you slap this on over your wetsuit, uh, or when you're putting your wetsuit on, or taking it off, or driving home from your session. Uh, it's just gonna keep the sun off you. When it's cold out, it's gonna warm you up. It's gonna keep your seats from getting wet. You can walk around on it. It's like a pair of pajamas. Uh, they're super, super comfortable. Uh, and this is nice. You've been out on the water all day. The wind's a little cool. Pop on the hood tuck in, you just get some alone time in your poncho. We love them. Here we've got the Mystic compression bag. Um, compression bags are nice uh, if you wanna take your full-size kite that's in a big backpack and shrink it down into something really small. Uh, this bag looks really big. It looks like the size of a kite bag, but you can see with all these straps here, you tuck it in good and tight, you really yank it down, uh, and it's a good way to roll incognito. You want to get a new kite, but you don't want the wife to know, get two compression bags. You can tuck down your 12, you can tuck down a nine meter, ditch the other bag, she won't even know. So it's gonna look like one kite. Helmets, do you need them? Uh, honestly, in Michigan, we, we really don't. We have really soft sand beaches. We have big launch areas, uh, but that's just not the case everywhere. If you're launching an area with a lot of debris or rocks or trees, a uh, helmet can just be nice for peace of mind. Honestly, if you're foiling, this is something that we tend to recommend more. Uh, if you buckle and you fall on your foil, uh, that can ring your bells a bit. Uh, so just for safety, helmet, get it if you're foiling. A long leash. If you're not gonna unhook at all, it's not necessary. If you are gonna unhook, you wanna try uh, some handle passes. You just need a little bit something extra, go with the long leash. Some brands still might come with a long leash, but by and large, most of them are moving to the short leashes. Um, so you might need to add one of these. Down here, if you're traveling, grab a repair kit. It's got all sorts of nifty supplies in there. Check the website to see what's included. Um, but if you're out and about in the middle of nowhere uh, and you have a rip in your kite, this could save your session. It could save your entire vacation. Most harnesses will come with a hook knife, but not all. Um, you can buy the hook knife, se hook knife separately. Sometimes they come with a little pouch. This one just has Velcro, so you can stick it in the pocket, Velcro's in. If you need to use it, rip it out. PKS Universal Kite Pigtails. Uh, this is nice if you're mixing and matching your, uh, your bar and your kite. Sometimes the male-female uh, loop knot connection system don't match up the same. Uh, so if you put on one of these Universal Pigtail Kits, uh, you can basically make your bar match your kite uh, this is something you're probably only going to encounter once, and if you have the issue, just pop it on the bar or the kite that's opposite, and you don't need to think about it again. Um, lastly, we got some valve kits here. Um, this happens to be WMFG, uh, and this is just a bunch of different kite attachments. Uh, so again, like we were talking about earlier in the video, uh, if you get a pump from a different brand than your kite, um, most of the time you're going to have a valve that's going to inflate it, but not always. I always sneak one of these in the back seat of my car. Uh, that way when I get to the beach and I've taken a kite that invariably does not fit the pump that I have, uh, I'm not driving back to the shop frantically. I can just reach in, grab the valve I need, and I'm good to go. Anyway guys, there's a ton of other accessories. Uh, if you have any questions, call us. We'd love to talk to you about them. 
There's other accessories that work really well too. This is just kind of a snapshot of some of the more popular stuff. Feel free to ask us if you have any questions. If you want us to review anything more in depth or something you didn't see here, let us know in the comments section. We're happy to get back out here on the table and talk about it. Otherwise, thank you so much for checking us out and we look forward to seeing you on the water.